All staff and students have access to Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. Find a PDF on your Google Drive, right-click on it, and click Open with Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. This will open up a tool that will allow you to annotate. Let me show you how that works in Google Classroom. In your Google Classroom, click Create Assignment. Give your assignment a title, include any instructions, and click Add Google Drive. Google Drive opens to your most recent items, but you can always search here. Here's the PDF of the context clues. Click on it so it has highlighted in blue and click insert. Be sure you change this setting here to make a copy for each student. Otherwise, students will not be able to annotate their specific context clues assignment. So notice the name of this PDF is context clues 1-1. That'll be relevant when we get to the student side. Adjust any point values, due dates, as well as your topic. And assign. On the student side, here's the assignment. They click on it, they can see the instructions, and they can click on the PDF here. If they want, they can also click View Assignment to make it a little larger. All student work lives on the right-hand side. They would simply click on the assignment, and this would open up the PDF. If you notice, students cannot annotate. They need to go to the top and click Open with Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. This will open up the tool. Once the tool is open, the students will have access to three editing tools. You'll notice at the top, here's the name of the worksheet, and it puts the student name at the beginning of it. The three tools here are a commenting tool, which is a sticky note, a highlighter, and a pencil. We recommend students use the sticky note. They simply click on it, click in the area that they would like to put a response, and a comment window will open on the right-hand side where students can put their response to the specific question. Once they're finished typing their response, they simply click Post. Since this tool is still highlighted, they can go to the next section and put the next response and click Post, and they can continue through the worksheet. If you need students to highlight, they would use the Highlight tool and simply drag their mouse over the items they need highlighted. They can also add a note that will correlate to their highlighting, and they simply click Post. There is a pencil tool, and if students have a touch screen, they may be able to use this easily, but you can see they'd have to be able to use it with their mouse. You can see when they use their pencil, it does put a note over here, which is useful for when you need to provide feedback. When students are finished adding all their annotations, they need to click Save. When they go back to their Google Classroom, they may still see this page. They just need to click back here, and their assignment has been saved. And they can turn it in. If they're unsure if those particular annotations have been saved, they can open this again Again, open with Adobe Acrobat. It will open up a new window, and they will see all of their annotations. They return to the Google Classroom, go back, and click Turn In. Now let's see how a teacher can provide feedback to this student on that same PDF. Back in the teacher's Google Classroom, when they click on the assignment, they can see that one student has turned it in. If they click on that assignment, they will get the students who have turned it in, as well as any other students that it's been assigned to that have not completed their work yet. Simply click on this particular assignment, and you'll open up what's called the grading shell. Here you'll see all the students' annotations. You can click on them to provide further feedback by replying here. You can move through all of the annotations to provide feedback on individual responses. If you want to actually annotate on the PDF, as the students did, you would simply click Open with Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive and go through the same process that you saw for the student. Be sure you save any of your responses. In the grading shell, you can also provide a grade and any private comments to the students. Be sure you click Return to return the assignment to the students. I'm going to give Andy some feedback so you can see what it looks like again on the student side. If you've put any comments in the comment bank, you can call them up here as part of your responses. 
Be sure to use the hashtag and any comments that you've put into your comment bank will pop up. And you click reply. Remember, you don't have to return each student's assignment in Google Classroom individually. Once you've graded all of the students' work, you can simply click return multiple submissions to return to all students. But let's just return this one and return. Let me show you what that looks like to a student who has had it returned. Since this was returned to the student without a grade, they can open up their PDF, again, open with Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive, and they'll see their annotation notes on the right-hand side. You'll notice here and here, the places where the teacher put a comment is indicated with the number one. So if a student opens this, they can see the teacher response. Here, the teacher is asking the student to revise. So the student can go about revising their work, simply by right-clicking and editing and putting in a new response. If you want, you can actually have the students put their new response in the Add a Reply section so that you can see their previous response and their improvement. Students must remember to save, return to their Google Classroom, and turn it in again. And that's how you can use Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive to provide students with PDFs for them to annotate.